Yeah, number 19. Alexander Bukad says, what is the difference between vision and imagination? I don't know. That's a good question, Alec. Uh, vision and imagination. I mean, I would just look, you know, consider the usage of the terms. Vision sometimes refers to my plans for the future, whereas imagination can refer to whatever I'm thinking about at the moment. So maybe there's the difference. Um, or maybe you're asking, let me just guess, Alec, because I'm trying to think of how this relates to a Christian specific kind of questions. Biblical issues is, is there a difference between God having given me some sort of vision versus me imagining a plan that's not really from God? What's the difference there? And I, I think the difference, if there's, if that's your question, the difference is the source. Um, if it's from God, then it's a vision from God. If it's not from God, then it's, I mean, technically we could still be a vision. It's just not from God, right? It, it just comes from me. How do you test the source then is the, is the, uh, is the question. And I, I would ask things like, how reliable is this person's track record when they say that God showed them something? How clear is the thing that God showed them or is it super vague? There's going to be this great landfall of blessings. Your time has come. God's given me the vision. Your appointed blessings have arrived. It, it, and it's like super vague. Uh, and okay. How accountable is the person going to be if the vision appears to not really be from God? Is it ratified by other believers who are spirit, spiritual, who are basically wise and spiritual? Is this being ratified by them as well? Um, is it consistent with scripture? Is it inconsistent with scripture? And like for these are like a bunch of questions you have to ask about anytime someone says God's speaking to me. Alec, I hope those help you. I feel like I haven't really answered your question that well, but I hope you find some aid in it.